Bless you. Further member statements. Recognize a member from York Southwestern. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to honor and celebrate the life of Johnny Lombardi, pioneer of multicultural broadcasting, founder of Chin Radio TV International, who played a central role in transforming Toronto and Ontario into a society inclusive of diversity. December 4, 2015 will mark the centennial birthday of Mr. Johnny Lombardi. He was born in the heart of downtown Toronto in 1915. Son of Italian immigrants, his father actually was born in Pisticci, the same southern small town my mother comes from, Mr. Speaker. Johnny became a self-taught trumpeteer and entertainer before serving in the Canadian Army in the Second World War. After that war, a vast wave of Italian immigrants flocked to Canada, and Johnny, a man of quick insight, realized that these new immigrants surely missed their food and their culture. He opened a grocery store, he started to produce a radio show, began bringing singers over from Italy. He then applied for a multicultural radio station and Shin Radio was born above the supermarket. Johnny quickly became successful and soon his radio station began, began broadcasting programs in 30 different languages. And Mr. Speaker, I first met Johnny Lombardi in the late 70s. He had offered me a summer job as a radio host. When he died in 2009, the Globe and Mail wrote, he was adamant in his conviction that everyone in the world belonged here too, in the heart of the open city, and he made it his life's business to make this a big place for them. Fana buona joba, he would say, do a good job. Happy birthday, Johnny. We miss you.